sense perceptions, thoughts, emotions. Put them together, mix them up. That's my life. Okay. Uh, so that applies to everybody. Now, the, the particular mixture differs from person to person. What exactly goes into the sense perceptions and the thoughts and the emotions varies slightly from person to person, but basically that's the mixture. Uh, now, the question is, you can't escape that. Of course, that's, that's, that's normal life. Is there anything else? Sense perceptions, thoughts, emotions. Okay, let's see. There must be something else because how do I know that there's sense perceptions, thoughts, and emotions? Is, an, is the ability to recognize, to have a sense perception based on thinking? No, because to have a sense perception, you don't really need to think. You can just look and see. So, what, what else is there? And the, this is a key thing. There is something else apart from sense perceptions, thoughts, and emotions, which is, we could call it an awareness. That there is a sense perception. There is an emotion. There is a thought. And that is, that is we could call that pure consciousness. Otherwise, how could you have a sense perception? So there is something there that enables sense perceptions to be there, that enables a thought to be there, that enables an emotion to be there. And that is the one, that is the thing that in most humans is hidden. They don't know, in other words, they don't know it's there. <laughs> because that is presence, which we could also call consciousness, which would, we could also call awareness. And that is the spiritual dimension, and that is the awakening. Once you realize that that is there, we could also describe that as the space for all those other things. So, that's, so let's say, let's compare this room to your, to your consciousness, and then we say, okay, there's the furniture in the room, there's the bodies in the room, and there are the other lights in this room. Those things are in this room. So if, we, if I asked you to describe the room, you would probably describe it in terms of the, the, the furniture in it, the walls, the ceiling, whatever you see. You would, when you describe that room, you would miss the most essential thing about this room because it's so obvious that you miss it, which is the space. Of the, in the, that really is the essence of this room isn't the walls or the ceiling or the floor or the furniture or the bodies in this room. The essence of this room is the space in this room. <laughs> but space is not something tangible that you can say, ah, there it is, where? And the same thing applies to inside. The space of consciousness is the very thing that enables everything else to be, but, you, but it's, it's, it's very much like the the fish in water that's asked, that says, you talk, do you, why are you always talking about water? You haven't shown it to me yet, says one fish to the other. The other fish is a spiritual teacher. <laughs> so what water are you talking about? Where? What water? And of course, you can't, it's everywhere. It's inside you, it's outside you. <laughs> but the amazing thing is you can be aware of it, but not as an object, but as the awareness itself. Ah, I got it now, I got it. But you can't say what it is.